We are at Dungeon Destard. We're actually standing over the entrance of a Dungeon Destard. Uh, as you can see on the screen, I have mapped it. Pretty much essentially mapped it out. So let's go down and get the stone. I left the red mark on there because that's where you descend. So that's an up in actual ability. Now, this first level is also pretty interesting because, as you can see, it looks massive, but it's not. It just loops around all the time. So, yeah, it's it kind of looks infinite, but it's not infinite, it just loops. Anyway, we'll go a couple of this way, then that way, and down. So, we'll do that and that. Now, as you can see, it's pretty simple. We just head north, which we're already facing north. And all the way to the end, pretty much. I don't know what F stands for, so... I'm just going to ignore that. Of course there will be some fights. Ooh, crappy sound, so let me mute that. I don't know how much I covered about the dungeons in previous parts, but um, the gremlins have changed quite considerably since Ultima 1. They were like a lizard creature in Ultima 1, possibly 2. They didn't have a, a tile associated with them in Ultima 3. One thing I've got to remember is that we've got to try and maintain our avatar hood. It isn't as easy as it sounds. Like one false move and you lose it. Like if I were to get one of the one of the uh, party members to exit. They would, we would lose it, um, part of our avatar hood, so. <sighs> and the last person that should be exiting from these battle scenes is the avatar himself. Just be on the safe side.
These fights will be pretty boring, but yeah, you can probably get the gist of how they go. It's annoying when they don't come to the edge of the bridge because your close range combatants can't, you know, reach them. And of course with such a narrow gap on the bridge, it's difficult to maneuver everyone efficiently. And now we make sure that the last character is the avatar to exit. After we defeat Z Monster. Everyone will have to wait until the critter is dead. Okay, now we can leave. Now we hit down. Oh, that one didn't take very long. Oh, now we're there. So we just need to go east. And of course, another battle. Yeah, and of course, if you haven't noticed, I've changed uh, Shamanol and Jeffrey around so that I, they get a bit more experience. Putting them closer to the front line than Dupre and uh, Julia. Hmm, come on, people, hit. Finally. Yeah, that'd be alright. Ah, oh, finally. Okay, we'll leave the avatar where he is. And we progress everyone ever so slowly across the bloody room.
I got an hammer, god damn. Oh, damn, descend. And get rid of that screen, bring up that one. Yes. As you can see, the dollar signs are chests. Not that I have confirmed that on or anything, it's just an educated guess. What else could it be? I mean. Anyway, when we get into here, we'll get into a fight in this room, so we've got to remember to go west. So we're not wasting too much time. These guys are phantoms, we could avoid them if we wanted to, but that would probably uh, deprive us of our Avatar Hood status. And that would just mean that we'd have to go back through the shrines, depending on which of our Avatar status gets affected. If we flee during a battle, it'll probably be sacrifice. That would be well sacrificed. Uh, it's no big loss because I've already done that a number of times. <laughs> Off camera, that is. Of course, we haven't done our journey for mystical armor either, so. Which only the avatar can get mystic armor. Everyone else has to deal with uh, magic armor, unless they don't like magic armor, in which case they have to deal with regular armor. Which you'll find that not many people actually like magic armor. Fighters? No, not so much. Paladins? Not really. <laughs> Bards? Yeah. Druids? Uh. <laughs> Rangers? Not really. problem with bards and druids and stuff like that is you've got to get the right magic armor, like magic leather or magic chain. Whereas fighters probably could use magic plate, but that's if they can, that is. Okay, everyone, now M scray, will ya?
No idea what they are. Slime. Oh, okay. That's an odd choice for a slime. Odd graphic choice for a slime. Normally it would be um, a lump, a green lump or something. Like in Dragon's Quest and stuff, but and other Ultimas, but um, I suppose it makes sense once you get to Ultima 7 at least, anyway. Down. So we're finally at level five. Okay, we just go north. We can avoid that room in the middle. Ah, oh, great! More slime. I do apologize if fights are quite boring. I mean, there's not much to say during fights, is there? Particularly of not of a game of this old cal caliber, if you want to call it that. doesn't matter what formation you use, you end up having to break your formation down, divide and conquer and all that jazz. And with eight party members to control pretty much all at once, it uh, makes it very tedious. Generally, you want to go after the uh, most dangerous of them. Like, if you come across a whole heap of enemies with one or two bolons, you want to take out the bolons first. Because they have a bad habit of putting everyone to sleep.
should be facing west, so it should be okay. Okay, down we go. It's taken longer than it took for me to map it, but anyway. We can either head east or west. That doesn't look right, does it? Alright. Yeah, okay. We'll just climb back up here. Head out here, head north. Ah, there we are. There is a difference, okay. I'll have to make a note of that. Now we're at level 7, which is another one of these interesting levels as well. Because they are infinite, as in they loop. And I've got to go through two doors to get to any of the unks you see on the map. Uh, which is a bit of a pain, so we'll just head south. Oh no, we don't have to go into fights, that's right. And just do a little searchy, and you find the red stone. Again, yeah, that is pretty much the reverse. I wouldn't want to bore you with that. So, I'll just have to find another dungeon and uh, go from there. Hmm. Curious, or curious. Anyway, I'll, I'll leave it there. I mean, getting out of the dungeon is pretty much exactly the reverse of how we got down the dungeon in the first place. So, not something overly extravagant. Um, you can also cast spells uh, to get out uh, and whatnot, but we probably could do that just to pass the time. Let's uh, go back to this view and bring up the spells list. And if we can find exit, mix, X for exit, blood moss, E. As you can see, I've got mantrake and nightshade. I'll try and remember to explain that to you at some time. Water silk, which is D, and sulfuric acid, which is A. And we get, uh, we'll just say Julia to cast it, which is exit. And we should be out of the dungeon. Voila. Simples. Um, I might just quickly explain. Um, those two reagents. I think you have to go to, you get, you, when we went around the dungeons and talked to various people, um, we found out that we could ask about uh, um, Mandrake Root and Nightshade at Paws and Trinsic Pub, um, real, uh, uh, Nightshade at Paws, I think, Paws Pub and um, Mandrake Root at... <coughs> Trinsic's pub. Um, they will direct you to two people um, for, can't remember which ones, but um, Kalami and Virgil. Virgil's in Moonglow and he will direct you to um, can't remember. Not uh, Mandrake Root, I believe. And Kami will direct you to um, Nightshade. Um, however, with Kami, he, he will only pretty much tell you Blood Plains or Spirit Wood, but you can only really get it in Spirit Wood in only one particular location. Uh, that location is J uh, yeah, JFCO. 
So if you look up your sextant and find JFCO, latitude, longitude, um, you will find the spot that we're talking about. And on the new moon, you just pretty much spam search. So press S for search and you will find as many as you need. You just wait there until the next new moon and continue searching. And you will eventually max out at 99. The uh, Mandrake one is probably a little bit easier because if you go to Moon Glow, um, well, the latitude longitude is DGLG, but it's very easy because um, there's only one square uh, tile of swamp in the blood plains, and it's just south of uh, Minoc. And if you go to the east, after going south and go around the lakes and rivers there, you'll eventually find it. It's not far. And you just, again, spam search at the new moon. Pretty simple, really, but I might show you where Clummy is and Virgil is, uh, since we'll, there are dungeons around those areas anyway. Um, not so much you, I think, but... Yeah, I will have to find the other four dungeons which I don't have listed on my map. Um, and maybe show you where the uh, locations are. You'll find that the Spirit Wood location is probably the hardest to find and to maintain your position there because there's no um, distinctions in the area. So you can get lost pretty easily or lose your position way too easy. So every time an uh, enemy comes across you, you might just want to check your sextant location anyway. Anyway, that will do it for now. And uh, I'll see you at the next dungeon. Adios, amigos.